Cat Bears. Cat Bear. All right, fellas. Welcome back. Happy uh, 2019. Happy New Year to you all. I look back at the last two videos that I put up, and uh, my God, it looked like someone was going to be taking me around the back and shooting me. <laughs> I looked absolutely miserable as sin. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's because I had a lot on my mind over Christmas, and the fact that I was coming down with uh, this tremendous cold that's absolutely sat me on my ass. This is the first time in the new year that I've stepped foot inside the brewery. I've had to come in because the kit is ready. It's, it's, I think it's ready. Uh, I haven't actually had any since Christmas, but we've had all the period over Christmas. It should be carved up. It should be tasting very nice. We're going to come to that in a very quick second. But this kit beer, it's the first time in a long, long time. I think the last time I did an all grain kit, it came from uh, Harry, it came from Idle Valley. That first all grain kit that I had from them, the uh, American IPA, that was a real nice, a real nice boozy drink. Real nice drink. And then, since then, I've been sort of building my own recipes and uh, using Beersmith. And that's how we've progressed, really. Just designing my own um, take on a style. But if you haven't watched the videos before Christmas, the last beer we brewed up, we brewed up the Crafty Brews IPA from uh, Brew UK. And uh, the thing that instantly ticked the box for me ordering this was I haven't got to design a recipe or put together uh, the grains. It's all done for you. So Earthy Spicy Rye meets a powerful US hop collection and I tell you what, what a hop collection it was. We had, uh, I think it was six different varieties of hops that went into uh, making the beer in the boil and the dry hop. So what do I think about the kit? Well we haven't done the final thoughts yet, which we're going to do in a second, but just talking about the kit from arrival to, to brew day and the instructions that they give you, it does say on the website that these uh, kits are for people with a knowledge of all grain brewing. I noticed that there was, although they were giving you pretty much everything you needed to know, uh, your starting gravity, your finished gravity and what's actually going into the beer. There were a couple of areas where I guess the experience of doing all grain before is where you would implement that knowledge. So the boil hops, it tells you to add the Bravo in this case for the uh, full boil. But when it comes to the hops at the end of the boil, it just said add these hops at the end of boil. So I guess there was no like chill it down to 80 um, or whirlpool, it just said add them after the boil. In that respect the kit is all put together for you but will turn out differently I guess as to how you finish off with the hops etc. So it's a starting point to, uh, it's like a reference of a, of a style and then you brew it and finish it off how you want to with the hops and the boil etc. So it's not as regimental all the way through, which is pretty good actually. If it was a clone of a beer, I haven't had a clone yet recipe, uh, but I would expect that in a cloned kit I would probably have a few more instructions because people are just doing what they think should happen, then it's not going to really match the cloned taste. So it's not a, it's not a definite set recipe, um, the one that we've got now. But we'll try a few more over this year and see how we get on with them. If there's any kits you want me to try, then uh, then leave them below and I'll have a look at them. Please don't let them be leaf hopping them though, for God's sake. Now let's do the final thoughts, final tasting. So let's have a pour and see what we've got. I didn't knock the pressure down, did I? <laughs> I've still got it set at carbon pressures. You stupid idiot! Oh well, it'll settle out. Well, why don't we let that settle a little bit? I remember on the sneak peek that I was definitely getting the hops, but not as much as the malts. The malts were really there. That rye, the spiciness of the rye was definitely definitely playing its part, which I guess you want, really. Um, there was a lot of a, um, a darker caramelly um, vibe about it, but the hops were taking a little bit of a backseat at the sneak peek. Obviously, we've had now like two weeks conditioning 
So let's dive in, fellas. I'm gonna to have to get a taste first to just get rid of some of this head. Peak as well. The bittering was um, was it wasn't overpowering, but it was definitely there right at the back end, and it still retained that. That hasn't uh, that hasn't sort of mellowed while all the other flavours have come together, which is nice. It's a real nice bite at the back end. It's definitely a malt forward, or this one in particular. It's definitely a malt forward finished product. Which again, I suppose if you're picking like. Uh, a rye PA, you you really want that rye to come through, and you want the uh, the chocolate malt that's in there, the crystal that's in there, to um, come forward. It's doing that very well. The little amount of chocolate malt that was in there, and the crystal and the rye definitely worked together. I think the the base malt was Marisotta. And there is a decent amount of hop in the flavour. There isn't vast amounts of it, but it's definitely there. I think if I was to do this again, I may have put one of the hops at the end of the boil, probably at like 15 minutes towards the end of the boil, just to try and impart a little bit more of hop flavouring into it. The aroma though is awesome. It's really toffee-like and the hops seem to be coming forward a little bit more on the aroma. We had a big old, big old hop drop, but uh, that toffiness it's definitely, uh, definitely coming forward instead of like a hard toffee, like a, a caramelly toffee. So the the aroma is definitely a t caramelly toffee aroma with a little tiny little edge of a bite, but uh, it plays really well with the hops. The aroma of the hops, the aroma of the uh, caramel toffiness. It's it's a real inviting smell. Hmm. That grassiness has disappeared as well. That green grassiness from the uh, from the dry up has gone. Overall, it's it's very enjoyable. Overall, I like it. I don't think I'm going to have much trouble polishing the keg off. It's different to the other IPAs that I've been brewing recently. Um, I've been going more down the paler route, the really really pale pale side and uh, this is a nice welcome change. It's almost bordering on like a bitter, like an ESB type of uh, maltiness to it. Uh, but I think that rye is stopping it getting uh, clarty and sticky. I think that the, uh, the spiciness from the rye is lifting the malt a little bit. But it works well with the hops, it works well with the malts. It's definitely darker, a darker, more crystally malt forward IPA that I've been brewing for a while. I think we'll put a few of them hops in, uh, probably 10 minutes, 5 minutes, something towards the end of the boil. Uh, it might impart a little bit more hop flavour into it. But that is just the way I've done it. Uh, people might brew this one up and it'd be completely different. But that's what I'm getting from it. I really like it. Mm. And if it was, um, if the hops came in pellet form, I'd uh, probably order it again. But I really, really need to keep away from uh, leaf hop. They just, they're just no good to me. Just no good in the setup that I've got. I think once we start with the new kit, uh, that's definitely something that I'm gonna introduce to the new pots. I'll probably get a hop spider then, in case I do get a kit that's got leaf hop in it and then I know I'm not going to have any problems. But that's it. The final thoughts on the Rye PA. I like the beer, it's turned out well. I like the kit, how everything came. Perfect, what's not to like, everything came in the bag, all the malts were all weighed out. A little interpretation as to where your end of boil hops go and how warm your water is when you add them and how long you keep them in there. That's up to you to interpret. Uh, but as a whole the kit is well designed I guess and uh, the instructions are pretty much giving you the full rundown and letting you uh, breathe a little bit and have a play with it. 
I think it's all right. Well, that's it, fellas. So until next time, don't forget to follow us video because you know what I do. Don't forget to hit like, and subscribe, click your watch, and come in the next video. But you know what I want to say? Uh, and until next time, how about it?